All right, so let's begin our login sequence. So let me go to the controller here and let's see what we can do. Let's go to the login controller. Yes. So right here on the controller, we must add another facade for authentication. So it's called auth like so. Just like we added the hashing algorithm there. Now we don't need to to use the hash facade here because the oath already does the hashing for us. So no need for that. But the function we want to deal with is this one. So of course we want to validate the information. We're going to have an email and we're going to have a password. Now, obviously the email must be a valid email. So let's put email there. And then this one is required, uh, but nothing more. Okay, good. So if every everything goes well and the validation works, we must now attempt to uh, sign up, or oh, to log in, sorry. So what I will do here is Let's put an if statement. The way to authenticate is just by saying auth like so, and then you say attempt like that. And then in here you add the array, which contains uh, the data that you want to attempt to log in. Now, in our case, uh, this validated is going to contain these two items. So that's more than enough. And so I am going to add, um, I'll put this there like so okay great and the thing is the auth attempt will return true or false depending on whether the user was authenticated successfully or not so we can use that to our advantage by putting it inside an if statement like so and then we can do um, let's see here so once we are in here, it means uh, things went well. Things went well. So at this point, what we can do is we can use the request uh, session. And then we can say regenerate. So that we regenerate the key. And then what we can do is we can return a um, we want to return to, let's return a redirect, but instead of adding uh, what to redirect to directly here, we can use the intended. Now, if you, if, if you just want when somebody logs in, they are taken to the admin section, then no problem. You can put the admin section there. You can just say redirect uh, admin. But in our case, we want to go to the intended page. So we'll say intended like this. And then this is enough because it's going to tell it that uh, whichever page we were at before we, we went to the login page, that's where we should go. But just in case intended does not exist, uh, let's add the admin section like so. So it will default to this in case there is nothing in there. Okay, so this is uh, all good now. That's how you authenticate. And then if things do not go very well, uh, let's go back to the view. And this is the... Um, if the authentication failed, let's see here, what do we have? Um, the view is auth.login. Let's see how this works, yeah? Okay, great. So let me go back to here. And then here I will try um, by adding an email. Actually, here it's not username, it should be email. So let me go to my login. Blade. Let's change that. This is type password, this is type email. And this placeholder should be email.
Great. Refresh. Okay, good. I was expecting some suggestions there. I want to see some errors first, so let's try that. Let me just uh, log in. Okay, of course I should have... Uh... Let me go to my sign up here and copy exactly this because it's exactly the same. Come back to the login section and uh, paste it right there. Okay, very good. At least now we can see errors. And also I want to add some values to the old so value and just say like that old let's use uh, email and uh, I think the password should not be returned let's put an empty value there so that you have to type the password again instead of just keep trying and trying since it failed so refresh the page let's try again uh, actually it's just yahoo.com and let me type something okay so the email field is required the password field is required but i did supply these guys so what's going on okay right so the email feed is required the password so it keeps telling me this hmm why is this well um okay so my bad i don't have any names here that's why so let's add a name this one is email and the other one is password okay great Let's try again. Uh -huh. And the password here. Mm, anything. Enter. Okay, so we didn't get any of that. Anything at all, actually. Not even errors, did we? Hmm. So let's go back here and see what's going on. So back to our login here, it me it seems once we uh, we are passing through here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, either it should take us to the admin or it seems we are getting to this point because if I mute that point, let's see what happens. So I'm just going to add some random stuff. And then we don't see anything so it means we do get to this point so instead here we want to return um, we want to return back so the way to do this the way these guys made this to work is you write back something like this and then with errors like that Let's add some errors here, shall we? Return with errors. And this one is going to be for email. And that error is going to say, uh, uh, I don't know, wrong email or password. Oh, something like this. Return back with errors. Mm hmm. Let's try that. See what happens. Resend. Oh, finally. So we see wrong email and pass or password. Very nice. So now let's try the actual data. And let's put password there. Now keep in mind we don't have a uh, an admin dashboard here. So before we get all excited, I wanted to redirect properly. So I will go to my web.php. Okay, that's the admin. Let me just make sure that things are well and good with our admin controller. And our admin controller goes to the index. 
So the index here is um, hmm, the index view. So that's the one with admin dot admin since it's in the admin folder. Yeah, that's the one right there. So let me go to the uh, resources. Where is that? And admin folder. And let's add an admin page in there. So new file. Save the file. Admin dot blade dot php. Save that. So all I want at this point is a, um, let me copy what I have for the home page. So I'm going to go to the index.blade and get the header, copy that, and of course the footer as well. So header, footer, let's change those names like that. And this should work. Here I can put a div and just say h1 admin area, something like this. Okay, very good. Now we can try and uh, log in. Log in. Okay, very nice. So now we are in our admin area. Very good. All right then, so that's how we log in and sign up. And let's see in the next video, we make our, let's make our admin area pretty so that we can start uploading stuff for our homepage. Okay, so very nice. I will see you in the next video.